What's up guys, Matt back here with BK Vending and Flipping. I'm just going to go over a quick uh, what we picked up so far in the month of May and what has sold so far. Uh, it should be fairly quick, nothing like two videos ago, that was way too long, I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, we'll get going. Alright guys, so the first thing is this Titleist driver. I went over this in that big long video, but you might not have even made it that far. I paid $17.99 and this is part of the Goodwill Hunting. Um, so I need to get it cleaned up and get it listed, but, uh, I think comps on it were like between, I don't know, I think it was like 60 and 80, I think, but, uh, I'll keep you guys informed once I get it cleaned up and listed. All right, guys, next up are these micro machines. Uh, it's a great big lot of them. I already sold one lot of them. I'll put a picture up, um, in here in just a second so that you can see that there's quite a few of them here. I paid 45 bucks for all of them. Here's the picture of the one that sold. And then I also have a picture of a lot that is currently listed. So here's that picture. And I got all of those for 45 bucks. Um, I should be able to make my money back pretty easy on those. Um, I've had good success with micro machines before. Uh, hold on one second and I'll grab the next thing. All right, guys, this next item up is actually one that Logan purchased. It's an Easton bat. Uh, you can see the model number there, SX51, 34 inches, 26 ounces. It's a, it's pretty beat up. We probably need to try to clean it up a little bit better, but it is a black magic. Uh, you guys can look that up on eBay. They, they do okay, and the grip, it's in decent condition. <clears throat> so all in all, not bad for Logan. We'll uh, get it cleaned up and listed and let you know how it goes. All right, guys, next up is this Jerusalem Bible. Um, I never even would have looked at this if not for Lonnie over at Garage Flips. The outside edge is pretty rough, but the inside covers are actually nice and, and decent. It has this hard case cover with it. Um, so kind of cool. I bought that um, at a thrift shop, and it was like half off day or something. It was not Goodwill. It was like a Salvation Army or something, but I got it for two bucks, so not bad. I currently haven't listed. Um, I think comps on it were above 40. I can't remember exactly what I have it listed for right now, but uh, if I think of it again, I'll post it up here so you guys can see. All right, guys, next up we have some shoes. These are Asics Gel Venture 5. Um, pretty good condition overall the bottoms aren't bad so overall like I said good condition I did pay $6.99 for them um, but I should be able to flip those for anywhere between I don't know 25 and 40 I don't, I don't remember the exact comps but I remember thinking that it was worth seven bucks so there's those ones <clears throat> then I have these ones here um, these ones are in a, a little bit rougher shape if that's even a word more rough shape i don't know the bottoms look good um i thought overall the fronts up here were a little bit dirty and stuff like that but i'll run them through the wash these ones were 4.99 um and they are uh a6 gel nimbus 15 so there's those and then i have this pair <clears throat> also a6 i had Found quite a few of them. This is the Fluid Ride. Um, let me see if it says what it is here. No, I don't see it. I know what the name of them is because I have another pair exactly like this. Fluid Fit. Anyways, the color of these is like coral apple, not pink, green, and gray. I talked about that on a Bonafide Hustler video about how shoes and stuff sometimes will have weird colors so if you can't find it's asics are easy because they have the uh code on the tongue t557 uh and you can look them up real easy i've heard that there's like a code for nikes and stuff like that i i must not know exactly where it is so if you guys do let me know because i struggle to find sometimes the exact pair of nikes uh same with even reeboks and stuff like that so if you guys know comment down below i would love to learn that Alright guys, next up is this DeMarini Diablo 
glove. It is for a lefty. Um, as you guys can see, it's in decent condition. Um, you can see the Diablo in there, kind of dirty. That, that's kind of hard to clean out. So I didn't mess with it too much. It is a 14 inch and there's the model number there. Um, I paid $5.65 for this. And it's actually my first baseball glove that I'm trying to sell. I do have it listed currently. Um, I think I did an auction on it because I wasn't sure exactly how much to ask for it, especially kind of now that baseball season's running down. I might have might have done better had I saved it for the beginning of next year or something like that, but we'll see. Uh, it does not have a bid yet. I think my starting bid was 30 bucks, but uh, we'll see if it goes. All right, guys, and then uh, I got a second glove here. This one is obviously a Louisville Slugger. Um, it is, I believe, only 13 inches, but uh, you can see it here. It's in decent condition. It's kind of worn down a little bit, actually. Um, I paid five bucks for it. I have not listed this yet. I'm not sure um, if it's better to list it now or if I should wait. So uh, we'll wait and see what happens with that, but uh, there's that one. All right, guys, so I'm kind of heavy on the sporting equipment on this one, but I picked up this Prince, uh, let's see here. Uh, it's like Q3 Tour something, I don't know. I looked it up. I need to take the Goodwill tag off. I did pay $4.99 for it, um, but I kind of, the only reason I looked it up was because of what John Cincinnati Picker said, that if it was a one-piece racket, it's probably pretty good. Um, I don't remember exact comps on this, but I'll try to look them up and post them here so you guys can see. This one does have some rough spots. You can see there's like a spot there. It's pretty scraped up. So I might not be able to get as much as those other guys, but uh, it only cost me five bucks. And the handle is in decent shape. Um, not too bad anyways. But anyway, there's that. All right. I also picked up a second tennis racket. Also by Prince, this one is Air Stick model B1025. You guys can look that up. I paid $3.99 for it. If I remember right on this one, comps were anywhere between, I don't know, 50 and 70 or something like that. It does have a little bit of a mark there in the handle, but that's about it. Um, some nastiness right there as well, but not too bad. Uh, overall, it's in pretty decent condition. Strings are still really tight. Um, so, yeah, there's that one. All right, guys, and this is the last thing that I got. You can obviously see the case. It's a head tennis racket by Andre Agassi. Radical performance. Um, I've looked this up. It's called, like, a bumblebee. You can see it does have a string broken. Um, right here, but uh, you can see it is Andre Agassi Performance by Head, and it is Andre Agassi Tour. <clears throat> so all of the comps, instead of Andre Agassi Tour, all of the comps I could find right there say Radical Tour, but uh, I paid five bucks for this racket, and the comps that I found, again, they say Radical Tour uh, not Andre Agassi tour were like 186 and 140 or 164 something like that. Um, so I have taken pictures of this and I've listed it. And this is the one that I think I probably made a a huge mistake on. Um, I listed it for 200 bucks because it comes with the case and the case is. Sorry, I had to use my other hand there to flip that case is in really really good condition um, and the racket is in good condition other than the broken string of course uh, the handle has some rough patches you can see right there but I mean probably usable but they probably just um, redo that anyways but overall the racket itself is in good condition and uh, again I listed it for 200 like a minute or two after I listed it, somebody offered me a hundred for it, and I turned them down. <clears throat> I turned them down mainly because I was greedy, <laughs> probably, but because I had 
you know, the other comps that were in this similar, um, for this similar racket were so high. I got, yeah, I mean, ultimately I just got greedy and decided I would try to wait and get some more money for it. Uh, if I could go back right now, I would, I would jump all over that $100 offer since I only paid five bucks for this thing. Um, so I think that's a common mistake, not only that I make, but maybe other early uh, resellers is that they hold out for more money when they should just take, you know, not look a gift horse in the mouth. Um, just take the, I mean, that was a, a huge offer on a $5 item for a hundred bucks. And, uh, I should have jumped all over that because a, it would have brought a sale to my store, which, you know, I'm a, I'm a smaller store. I only have like 130 listings right now. Um, and so I'm not, it's not like I'm selling four or five, six items every single day. I'm, I'm lucky if I can get one or two a day. Um, so I should have taken that offer. I think that was a, a big mistake that I make. All right, guys, so that was everything that I picked up so far, uh, as well as I talked a little bit about uh, what I thought was my biggest mistake so far in my reselling journey. Uh, I'm going to quickly go over the things that sold. I got a cheat sheet here, so I'll have to turn my face, but I'm going to put pictures up anyway, so it won't matter. Uh, this first thing is an Omron heart rate monitor. Sold for $22.50 plus shipping. Uh, I paid $2.99 for it at a thrift shop, um, so not a bad little flip for me. This next thing is Zelda Twilight Princess for the Wii. Sold for $9.35 plus shipping. And I picked that up actually as part of a lot. So uh, I don't have like an exact price that I paid for that. Next up is this vintage Matchbox boxes. There's two of them. Uh, this sold for $12.50 plus shipping. I know the picture says $9.99, but uh, someone offered me $12.50 as a buy it now and I took it. So I picked this up at a yard sale. It was like a Ziploc bag full of these old old items so i just picked it up and grabbed it. it was only two bucks it had this in it plus i have like three other listings currently right now of this old like vintage stuff that was in this bag again i paid two bucks for it at a yard sale and just these two match boxes sold for 12.50 plus shipping next up is this delta dart model it sold for 15 dollars plus shipping i paid 2.99 for it at goodwill uh, so not a bad flip there Next up is this entire lot of video games. None of them work. Some of them are just the case. Uh, I tried cleaning them. I tried all kinds of stuff. I could not get any of them to work. Uh, this sold for $7.49 plus shipping. The, all of these games were picked up as part of lots from different video game purchases that I've had. And since none of them worked, as far as I, can, I, I was concerned, they were all garbage. So to get rid of them for $7.49 isn't bad. Next up is this Queen Anne mini furniture set. Uh, it sold for $15 plus shipping. I paid $1.99 for it at Goodwill. Um, it, took a, it took a little while to sell. I don't have the breakdown of how long each of these took or the my net profit or anything. I don't even know if you guys like that or not. If you do, uh, give me a comment down below and I can do that in the future. But um, if you don't really care, you know, then it doesn't matter how I do it. Uh, next up, I have this Emerson VCR DVD combo player. Uh, I actually sold this through OfferUp. It sold for $65, and I paid $8 for it at a yard sale. So not a bad flip there. And then the next one here I think was my best flip so far uh, in the month of May. It says BOSU Ball. Um, I got it at a yard sale for $2, and it sold through OfferUp uh, for $70. So a straight $68 profit since there was no shipping or, or uh, fees there. So... Not bad. Um, guys, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, if you have subscribed, make sure you have that bell marked so you can uh, be notified when we make a new video. We will have a new vending video coming out either Friday or Saturday. That's when our new uh, vending machines are supposed to arrive. So we'll do an unboxing and putting together of those. And then hopefully we can get those placed. Thank you guys again so much for watching. We appreciate all the support and have a good night.